This is how to lose love handles. And the crazy thing is, this will increase your confidence and give you that hourglass shape. So in this video, you will learn the 10 best secrets. Plus, I will tell you a story about a young lady named Olivia that was determined to lose those love handles. She has a stressful job as a registered nurse and it's very difficult for her to do much about her love handles. But don't worry, she did these 10 secrets that I'm about to tell you right now. So let's get to the fun stuff. And if your name is Olivia, like the video and comment baddie in the comment section. Therefore, secret number one is diversify workouts. Olivia decided to explore a variety of fitness activities. She tried everything from yoga to dance classes and also she tried cycling. Each new experience that she had, it brought her excitement and it challenged different muscles. For instance, yoga improves flexibility. And dance classes added an element of fun and enhancing coordination. Olivia also ventured into weight training. To keep things engaging, she joined local sports leagues and occasionally practiced obstacle courses, adding some type of adventure or twist to her workouts. Additionally, Olivia started documenting her fitness journey. She did this through a blog, sharing her experiences and tips with people just like you. If you're a shy person, you do not have to do this. I'm not telling you to do this. So secret number two, it's mindful eating. Embracing the second secret, Olivia actually started paying attention to her meals. Instead of rushing through, she savored each bite. For example, you can take your time and make a plate that looks very, very nice. I mean, one of those plates that you can like post on Instagram type plates. Like you're in a fancy restaurant. You can also experiment with nutritious recipes just to make mealtime enjoyable. Olivia also focused on textures, flavors, and aromas during mealtime. She began exploring farmer's markets to find different spices and recipes and things that she never cooked before that was very, very healthy. Olivia also went to a cooking workshop to learn different things around the kitchen. Therefore, secret number three is hydration focus. With a newfound commitment to health, Olivia decided to stay focused on hydrating her body. Staying hydrated also gives you a lot of energy throughout the day and it curves some of that snack cravings that you might have while you're at work. So the simple thing that you can do is carry a reusable water bottle around you at work, at the gym, no matter where you at, just use a reusable water bottle and you can just refill it and drink throughout the day. Another thing that Olivia actually did was start putting fruits, like strawberries, bananas, blueberries, things like that inside of her water to give her water a different taste. Plus, it makes drinking water so much better. She also ate watermelon and cucumbers, because those can actually give you a lot of fluids for your body. You can also use herbal teas. I know a lot of people just say drink water, but herbal teas can actually do you some good with hydration. She also did a water challenge with her friends to hit goals every single week. And the crazy thing was, you get $50 if you drink more water than the next person. But the catch was, you have to record yourself every time you drink water. I'm not telling you guys to do that, but hey, it do sound fun. So secret number four is balanced nutrition. This fourth secret helped Olivia discover a balanced diet, rich in fruits and vegetables, and hope everything was banana anyway. So this came very natural to her to implement this balanced diet. She tried lean protein and whole grains. Those fruits, vegetables, whole grains, lean milk, it all nourished the body perfectly. For example, you can include spinach, berries, nuts, and you can also try plant-based meals. I mean, they don't taste the best, but don't forget, she actually went and did some workshops for cooking. Olivia also embraced the concept of eating the rainbow. And when I say eating the rainbow, I'm talking about vitamins and minerals. 
So if your mind is in a gutter right now, get it out. She actually started growing a herb garden. And what she did with that garden was she started putting those herbs in her meals that she was actually making every single day. Cause she actually learned a lot from a cooking workshop. So you might want to go out there and try to find a cooking workshop so you can have colorful meals just like she do. In addition, Livia actually went to a nutritionist to help her plan out some of her meals throughout the week, throughout the month, throughout the year. Well, I think I'm going too far with year, but she actually did it every week. Secret number five is portion control. So if you made it this far in the video and your name is Olivia, comment down below, period poo. <laughs> but back to secret five, portion control. So what Olivia did with portion control is she started buying smaller plates for everything that she ate. She put it on a smaller plate than a normal plate that you guys use right now. Me personally, I know a lot of people that actually weigh their food. I don't actually weigh my food, but it can also tell you on the packaging of that food, how many pounds it is, how much calories are you using for a serving, how much protein it actually have inside each serving. So make sure you read what you are actually eating. That way you don't have to overeat. Overeating is bad. Olivia decided to actually do a potluck with portion controls. It sounded like a bad idea, but she said that it was actually good for her friends and family to get together and eat healthy for once. So secret number six is sleep. Yeah, I know it sounds crazy, but sleep actually works. Okay, it's really not a reason for me to explain this secret number six, but Olivia, she did not actually sleep good every single night because I told you earlier in the video that she was a registered nurse and you know those hours sometimes are not good for you. So a helpful tip is actually detoxing an hour before you go to sleep. And what I mean by detoxing, I'm talking about actually cutting off your phone, cut off the TV. So what helped Olivia was she cut off her phone an hour before she was ready to go to sleep. Therefore, secret number seven is stress management. Olivia tried meditation and deep breathing. These practices actually eased her mind. These practices actually helped Olivia calm down her eating habits, especially when she started stress eating over things that she could not really control, but she had it really bad eating a lot when she stressed. So she set aside moments in her day to actually meditate and take deep breaths. She did it every day for one hour when she got off work just to relax and wind down. So secret number eight is social support. And what I mean by social support is actually letting your friends know exactly what you're doing and including them into your activities, like when she was cooking or when she went to yoga and things of that nature. Include your friends in those activities. It will make it very, very fun for you to start losing weight and you get to hang out with your friends more. Secret number eight is very, very simple and very, very easy to do. So I'm not gonna get too much in detail with that one. Therefore, secret number nine is posture awareness. Maintaining a good posture became a habit for Olivia. It's very, very simple to do. Whenever you feel like you're slouching, when you enter your phone and your neck is like kind of bent over, right? Make sure you straighten your neck out, straighten your back out. It will help your posture in the long run. That's another secret that I really don't have to go deep into because you should know that already. But Olivia had a really bad habit of looking down at her phone all the time. So she had that little hump in the back of her neck that everyone liked looking at and making fun of, right? Cause I think I did that a couple times myself, just looked at somebody and like, why is your neck like that? But hey, to each his own. So secret number 10 is celebrating progress. 